Okay, congratulations. Oh, thanks this so much. This is a cracker. Everybody is raving about it. Absolutely oh, raving about it. It's insane. It. And it's kind of like a, it's like a reboot, isn't it, really, of the, the, the original one that we remember. Yeah, definitely. But it's kind of got this new spin on it where we go into the game this Yay. time and where all of these teenagers trapped in the bodies. Gosh, what an, ama what an amazing thing to do. Because I know you love sort of sci-fi and all of that, like me. Do, yeah. Absolutely love it. Are you a sci-fi fan? Oh, beyond. Really? I mean, oh, What's yeah. your favourite? My favourite, I guess my favourite, I loved, well, Deadpool, oh, which is kind yeah. of um, the original Blade Runner. Oh, really? Yeah. That's a classic. That that's a cla amazing. It has to be the original one. Though. Yeah. I wasn't so keen on the other one. I wasn't so keen on the other one. <laughs> but you're living it. You are actually living it in this film. <laughs> yeah, it's it's mind blowing to just work with these guys as yeah. well. We all just want a bit of escapism, Karen, and That's a bit it. of you know, let's be taken out of this world and put in another one. Yeah, and we I think can just we all love that everything, from a good you know? popcorn movie, and this totally, is exactly this type totally, of film. absolutely. You are a real badass. I mean, there's a lot of fight <laughs> scenes, isn't there? Yes, I have to use the nunchucks. <laughs> the nunchucks. How did you do? You must have practiced real hard. Like crazy, like that's all I did. I practiced for such a long time. I could actually use them now. I really want to use it in real life. I think you should. Not you should. on someone. No, 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 no. But just, someone. just kind of like I couldn't do. It. I would all be <laughs> ending up in a in a terrible mess. As well as all of this, though, what I really like about you is you've been doing directing. I have, yeah. Which is fantastic. Back home, back in Scotland. Yeah, so my first uh, film as a director was in Inverness, where I'm from, my hometown. Yeah. Um, shot it there with loads of my friends as extras. Um, and it was amazing. Such a good experience. I That's loved it. Is that something that you really want to do? I mean, obviously, oh, of course, yeah. the acting, of course, you do that. Yeah, but you I can can, have... you can move into both of them. Ideally, that would that would be what I would want to do. Maybe like a horror movie, though. That's what I really Ooh. like as a, as a filmmaker. It's a fun genre to play yeah. around with the visuals. Absolutely, because you can go anywhere with that, can't you? Yeah. Yeah. You can, it's just, you know, you're only limited by your imagination. That's it. Of mm -hmm. course, which is terrific. Yeah. And to do it at home as well, it must have been great to go back home because, you know, an mm -hmm. awful lot of your time must be spent on a film set or spent in LA. Yeah. Think, you know, you or like fake space or something. <laughs> like. <laughs> so I to know. go home, it was so nice. Although yeah. I stayed with my parents, so it was a weird thing of like, I'd be a director and then my mum would be like, bring your washing down! And I'd be like, mum, I'm the boss now! <laughs> Excuse me, I am an extremely huge star. I'm not, I'm not bringing my washing down. Isn't it great how your parents just like keep you right down to Oh, here? yeah. Like, they really, really do. Because you came to our attention in Doctor Who. It has a life outside of the show. Yeah, it's true. I mean, I could just do conventions for the rest of my life now. Absolutely. It's like a pension. I know. That's a, that is a great thing. When you've, when you've done a series like that that's really touched people mm -hmm. so that they want to know more about the cancer. They write their own fiction. They, they do oh, their own amazing. scenes. They do their mm -hmm. own stuff on YouTube. It's brilliant, isn't it? Oh, it's amazing to just be in something that people are so passionate about yeah. and care about. Because normally you're fighting to make people aware of what you're doing. But these types of things, people just, they're such fans of it. And it's its really nice. You want to deliver for them. No, of course. Of mm -hmm. course you do. Now, there was a wee thing in the, the news last week saying that you you are not... I don't think you're overly tall. You're just tall, but you're... I'm like a pretty... Uh, yeah, I'm five you know, foot eleven. Well, that's... Pretty yeah. tall. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But sometimes boys have to stand on boxes. It's true. Do they really have to stand on boxes? I've seen it happen. <laughs> I have. Yeah, if it's a kissing scene... Right. You want this angle. You don't want this angle. Right, gotcha. No, so, I understand. But it's yeah. always been like that. I remember a hundred years ago, Alan Ladd had to stand on a box. Oh, and yeah. And Sophia Loren was in a trench. Because he, she was, really? he was so tiny. She wasn't overly tall, but he was a wee tiny, that sort of Tom Cruise like. Uh, so he had to do that. Wow, yeah, it's, it's not unheard of. But nowadays, you think they would be able to sort it out with CGI and stuff like yeah, that. Yeah, yeah, I know, you'd think. <laughs> but no, we're still having them on boxes. And it's all right, it's fine. Yeah. So look, when you're working in a sort of massive film like that, and there is quite a lot of CGI and things, mm -hmm. is it much more difficult? Because you're sort of acting to, to nothing, in a way. You know, quite hard. at first it's like, this is really strange, but yeah. now I'm just so used to looking at like this tennis ball on a stick flying around sure, sure, sure. and being like... <laughs> <laughs> It's like it just happens automatically. Oh, it becomes really normal. Sure. It's weird. Don't you think being a geek is quite a good thing? Yes! I, being a geek is amazing! I think it is. I think really it is. high pitch then. Were you, yes! <laughs> but were you a geek before you went into Doctor Who? Yeah, I was kind yeah. of like socially awkward in school. Like I grew up really like unsure of what to do with my limbs uh -huh. and <laughs> looking at the floor and just being really tall again. <laughs> so, so yeah, I definitely was in the geek territory. Yay. But it has worked. It really has. Yeah, I'm, oh. I'm embracing the geek. And geek is cool now. It so is. It is actually. It, it oh, it's really, really coming to really fashion. Is. So the next project, you know, obviously you, the, the career is going incredibly well. But have you got something that you really want to direct that you really would like to do? And think of all these Ooh. amazing people you could count on to, to work with. 
I would love to work with some of the people that I've worked with before. Um, I mean, I would love to do a horror film as well. Yeah, you like said that. Horror. That would yeah. be like my dream next project. Get Matt Smith in. Get Matt Smith in to do the horror. He's, yes. he's got that kind of face. He could be really scary. <laughs> Absolutely. No, he has. Sorry, Matt. Yeah, he's adorable, <laughs> but he could be really scary as well. Right, I look forward to seeing that, my love. It's so oh, good to see you. Yeah, you too. Good luck with everything that you do. And do you the next level, it's out Wednesday. Wednesday, 11th yes. of December. That's it. That's Wednesday. Thank you, Karen. Thank, Thank you, you so, so much. much.